World's first operational jet-powered fighter aircraft, the Messerschmitt Mi-262, nicknamed Schwalbe in fighter versions, or Sturmvogel in fighter-bomber versions, is a German fighter aircraft and fighter-bomber that was the world's first operational jet-powered fighter aircraft. Design work started before World War II began, but problems with engines, metallurgy and top-level interference kept the aircraft from operational status with the Luftwaffe until mid-1944. Mi-262 pilots claimed a total of 542 Allied aircraft shot down, although higher claims are sometimes made. Several aircraft survive on static display in museums, and there are several privately built flying reproductions that use modern General Electric J-85 engines. Several years before World War II, the Germans foresaw the great potential for aircraft that used the jet engine constructed by Hans Joachim Pabst von Ohain in 1936. After the successful test flights of the world's first jet aircraft the Heinkel He-178 within a week of the invasion of Poland to start the war, they adopted the jet engine for an advanced fighter aircraft. As a result, the Mi-262 was already under development as Project 1065 before the start of World War II. The project originated with a request by the Reichsluftfahrt Ministerium for a jet aircraft capable of one hour's endurance and a speed of at least 850 km per hour. Plans were first drawn up in April 1939, and the original design was very different from the aircraft that eventually entered service, with wing root mounted engines, rather than potted ones, when submitted in June 1939. Funding for the jet engine program was also initially lacking as many high-ranking officials thought the war could easily be won with conventional aircraft. The aircraft made its first successful flight entirely on jet power on 18 July 1942, powered by a pair of Jumo 004 engines, after a November 1941 flight ended in a double flameout. In mid-1943, Adolf Hitler envisioned the Mi-262 as a ground-attack, bomber aircraft rather than a defensive interceptor. Hitler rejected arguments the aircraft would be more effective as a fighter against the Allied bombers destroying large parts of Germany and wanted it as a bomber for revenge attacks. The Mi-262 is often referred to as a swept wing, design as the production aircraft had a small, but significant leading edge sweep of 18.5 degrees which likely provided an advantage by increasing the critical Mach number. Handling was so improved over the previous aircraft that a report by Major Ernst Englander stated that any BF-109 pilot could convert to the Mi-262 with only an hour of instruction. Due to lack of engine torque, if a single engine was lost the aircraft remained easily controlled and landed without issue. The quality of the aircraft was high, with only 10% of aircraft returned from minor defects such as wings being out of alignment by under 1 degree. The V1 through V4 prototype airframes all possessed what would become an uncharacteristic feature for most later jet aircraft designs, a fully retracting conventional gear setup with a retracting tailwheel indeed, the very first prospective German jet fighter airframe design ever flown, the Heinkel He-280, used a retractable tricycle landing gear from its beginnings and flying on jet power alone as early as the end of March 1941. Fuel consumption was double the rate of typical twin-engine fighter aircraft of the era, which led to the installation of a low fuel warning indicator in the cockpit that notified pilots when remaining fuel fell below 250L. Unit cost for an Mi-262 airframe, less engines, armament, and electronics, was 87,400 erm. To build one airframe took around 6,400 man-hours. Fritz Steel of 2. JG-7, while flying a Mi-262 on the Erzgebirge, attacked a formation of Soviet aircraft. Despite its deficiencies, the Mi-262 clearly marked the beginning of the end of piston-engined aircraft as effective fighting machines. Another candidate for top ace on the aircraft was Oberstleutnant Heinrich Barr, who is credited with 16 enemy aircraft while flying Mi-262s out of his total of 240 aircraft shot down. Since the short barrels of the 30mm Mk-108 cannon and low muzzle velocity to avoid colliding with the target, Mi-262 pilots normally commenced firing at 500 meters. Gunners of Allied bomber aircraft found their electrically powered gun turrets had problems tracking the jets. A prominent Royal Navy test pilot, Captain Eric Brown, Chief Naval Test Pilot and Commanding Officer of the Captured Enemy Aircraft Flight Royal Aircraft Establishment, who tested the Mi-262 noted that. The high speed of the Mi-262 also presented problems when engaging enemy aircraft, the high-speed convergence allowing Mi-262 pilots little time to line up their targets or acquire the appropriate amount of deflection. 
Luftwaffe pilots eventually learned how to handle the Mi-262's higher speed and the Mi-262 soon proved a formidable air superiority fighter, with pilots such as Franz Schall managing to shoot down 17 enemy fighters in the Mi-262, 10 of them American P-51 Mustangs. The inclusion of full-span automatic leading edge slats, something of a tradition, on Messerschmitt fighters dating back to the original BF-109's outer wing slots of a similar type, helped increase the overall lift produced by the wing by as much as 35% in tight turns or at low speeds, greatly improving the aircraft's turn performance as well as its landing and takeoff characteristics. The Luftwaffe countered by installing extensive flak alleys of anti-aircraft guns along the approach lines to protect the Mi-262s from the ground and by providing top cover during the jet's takeoff and landing with the most advanced Luftwaffe single-engined fighters, the Fock Wolf FW-190D and Fock Wolf Ta 152H. Nevertheless, in March to April 1945, Allied fighter patrol patterns over Mi-262 airfields resulted in numerous jet losses. As the Mi-262A's pioneering Junkers Jumo 004 axial flow jet engines needed careful nursing by their pilots, these jet aircraft were particularly vulnerable during takeoff and landing. While the Mi-262 V9 Hochgeschwindigkeit I flight tested in 1944 had only small changes compared to combat aircraft, most notably a low-profile canopy tried as the Renkabine on the 9th Mi-262 prototype for a short time to reduce drag, the HG-2 and HG-3 designs were far more radical. The Royal Aircraft Establishment, at that time one of the leading institutions in high-speed research, retested the Mi-262 to help with British attempts at exceeding Mach 1. One airframe the aforementioned Mi-262 V9, were number 130,004, with Stamkenzeichen of V plus AD, was prepared as the HGI test airframe with the low-profile Renkabine racing canopy and may have achieved an unofficial record speed for a turbojet-powered aircraft of 975 km per hour, altitude unspecified, even with the recorded wartime airspeed record being set on 6 July 1944, by another Messerschmitt design the Mi-163 BV-18 rocket fighter setting a 1,130 km per hour record, but landing with a nearly disintegrated rudder surface. These aircraft were extensively studied, aiding development of early U.S., British and Soviet jet fighters. The F-86, designed by engineer Edgar Schmude, used a slat design based on the Mi-262s. The Czechoslovak aircraft industry continued to produce single-seat and two-seat variants of the Mi-262 after World War II. From August 1946, a total of nine S-92s and three two-seater CS-92s were completed and test-flown. Mi-262 were number 501,241 was delivered to the Collings Foundation as White 1 of JG-7, this aircraft offered ride-along flights starting in 2008. Mi-262A0 pre-production aircraft fitted with two Jumo 004B turbojet engines, 23 built. Mi-262B1A, U1 Mi-262B1A trainers converted into provisional night fighters, FUG 218 Neptune radar, with Hirsch Gawai 8 dipole antenna array. Mi 262S0 series model for Mi 262A-1 a Mi 262W1 provisional designation for Mi 262 with 2x2.7 kN Argus as 014 pulse jet engines Mi 262W3 provisional designation for Mi 262 with 2x4.90 kN, square intake, Argus as 044 pulse jet engines Mi-262 Loran provisional designation for Mi-262 with 2x Loran ramjet booster engines in, over wing, mounts, one above each of the Jumo turbojet nacellas. Rust sots may be applied to various sub-types of their respective aircraft type, denoted as a suffix in the form, RN. Data from, Messerschmitt Mi-262 A Schwalbe. The Australian War Memorial's website states that the aircraft is the only Mi-262 bomber variant to survive, and is the only remaining Mi-262 wearing its original paint.